exercise helps a woman be aware of her body. If a mother is having gestational diabetes, exercise may help mobilize or decrease her blood sugar. If you feel good about yourself, you feel lighter, you don't feel weak, you feel energetic, this has a positive effect on your child. It's really recommended. It improves blood circulation to all the bodily systems. It helps a pregnant lady go back to pre-pregnancy weight. It strengthens the core, strengthens the muscles, especially the lower back. I'm here to teach you some pregnancy exercises. If this is your first time to exercise, just start with a five-minute walk. And as you improve your fitness, you can do this 30-minute moderate-intensity workout program on most days of the week. The exercises that we choose should not have a risk of the pregnant lady losing balance. For the baby, there are certain exercises that you are not allowed to do. Certain abdominal exercise, especially if the patient is having premature labor, I discourage that. Exercise which increases the core strength is recommended. Increasing the pelvic tone is also encouraged. And the recommended exercise during pregnancy would be walking, swimming, yoga, and certain pilates. The warm-up exercises are for preparing your joints for the exercises ahead, starting from the knees to the hip to the shoulders and the neck. The plie squats when executed properly will strengthen the core and will strengthen the legs, most especially the glutes part, the inner and outer thighs, and even the calves. The wall 
push-up is a workout for the chest. It also works the arms and the core region to stabilize yourself while you're standing up. The side plank is for core strengthening. Keep your head aligned to your spine the whole time. Activate your ab muscles and it will also help you strengthen your lower back. Have someone with you, your husband or your friend, to correct your form so that um, you can execute the exercise properly. The four-point bridge, again, is a core strengthening exercise. When you extend your legs, you're working the glutes or the buttocks. And then when you extend your arms, you're working your shoulders as well. You know that you did your exercise program correctly. If you didn't feel any dizziness, pain, discomfort, or shortness of breath during the program. But if you do feel these symptoms, please see your physician immediately. Signs that a woman should stop exercising during pregnancy would be one, any discharge, especially bloody discharge, watery discharge, or any severe pain, contractions, back pains, pains in the lower abdomen. This may be a contraindication for exercise. Hi, this is my second pregnancy. Right now, it feels so good after my workout because exercise is really good for your health. During my first pregnancy, it helped me a lot to come back to my pre-pregnancy weight because I exercise every day. Remember that you're working out for yourself and for the baby, for both your health. Enjoy what you're doing. Just think of your health and fitness and everything will be fine.